So you don't have to be an, uh, an investor in the market long, right? Bef uh, before you learn that, it's just sort of riddled with what they call axioms, truths, myths. Some of them make sense, right? Like buy low, sell high. Although when you start to even think about that, that means often you would sell too early or not buy, you know, for fear, I don't want to chase this. And then, of course, this thing keeps going up. So here's my next guest. He's here to debunk some of the myths that you hear almost every single day in the financial media. Joining me now, Great Hill Capital Chairman Thomas Hayes. All right, Tom, I got to start with the, the one of the number one right now. Don't fight the Fed. Don't fight the Fed. Well, everyone's been saying don't buy stocks now because you can't fight the Fed. What we see is the last four tightening cycles since 1994, stocks are up actually 7.8% during the tightening cycle. The second myth that we're going to bust, uh, Charles, is earnings. Everyone says you can't buy stocks right now. Earnings are going down, right? right? Well, it's since 1930, in years that earnings were up year on year, the S&P was up 10.2%. In years that earnings were down uh, year on year, S&P was up 9.8%, and most people miss that. Is, is that because the market senses this and it starts to go down anyway? I yes. mean, you look in the, in the last six months, for instance, right? Everyone last year was saying earnings estimates are too high. Yep. Guest after guest, as the market was coming down, and as these numbers have come out, actually worse than expected, yep. we had a pretty good pop. You know, everyone's waiting for a storm that already passed. You know, we, we corrected 25% peak to trough last year, Charles, anticipating the slowdown that we're seeing right now. Now, if you believe 2024 earnings at 250 on the S&P, then actually what we should start to do in coming months is actually rally in anticipation of the recovery. With that in mind, uh, the contrarian idea I saw where you like, you've, you've got an idea I think that's, that's almost totally counter the overall Wall Street narrative right now. Yeah, so uh, we like uh, 3M. No one likes it. Uh, it's been left for dead. We're, we're kind of deep value guys. And uh, basically, it's got some litigation overhang. So they have uh, litigation with earplugs. The Department of Defense came out yesterday and said 90% of people who use these earplugs had no problem. That's going to lift some weight. It's trading at 11.5 times forward earnings versus its historic multiple of 17 times forward earnings. And its great financial crisis, low multiple of 14 times earnings. So we like this. They're going to do a couple of tax-free spins to unlock the value. If you take a look at this over the next 12 to 24 months, I think we got a double plus. All right, because sometimes it's... Uh, you know, these stocks have low valuations, have low valuations for a good reason. Well, this one's different. This is a high quality business. It's just a litigation overhang. This management has been compounding capital at double digits for years and years and years. Once this overhang is lifted, they pay the fine, they pay whatever they have to pay, this thing can take off. So it might take a little while to get going, but right. when it does, it's going to be worth it. You also like seasonality, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, no it, and, you know, we know the third year presidential cycle usually does well. Coming out of the last two weeks of February, we usually turn back up. Yeah. Uh, why does that work? We don't know, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> I love that answer. <laughs> There's no question about it. So look, you know, February, everyone got negative. We had to pay back some for January. Right. Next two months are the strongest months in the four, four years of the presidential cycle. So that's a positive thing. And, the, and you've seen it in the last few weeks. People have been selling equities like crazy. The last time they sold equities this, this much was in the spring of 2020 after the rebound off the lows. Everyone said we were going to go back to the new lows, right. just like they're saying right. now. What right. did we do? We went up 50 Oh, more my percent. goodness, man. Did Wall Street get that wrong, right? <laughs> yeah. Wall Street and a political class. It's a it's uh, it's wrong it's wrong it's wrong it's wrong i can't let you go without asking about alibaba in, in the chinese market yeah a lot of false starts there uh, is is it is the dust cleared i mean can can a, an, an investor go in there now and make some money Look, we've been buying Alibaba for months. This is going to be the last time you're going to have a chance to buy this thing under $100. You saw the composite PMIs yesterday completely off the charts. And I think what people are underestimating in terms of the global recovery is China's going to crush the 5% GDP. Rising tide lifts all boats. You can buy Alibaba at 2014 prices. You know what the only difference is, Charles? They've grown revenue by 800%. They've grown earnings and cash flow by 500%. This thing is going to take off and people are going to chase. What we need is a little weakness in the dollar, too. Uh, President Xi, though, no more, uh, he won't attack the, these big tech names, Chinese tech names anymore? Well, I think when he saw the people rioting in the streets, he figured out, wait, people want economic prosperity. We got to let, we got to let this thing yeah, run. Yeah, he should have learned a lesson. When you take someone off a bicycle and put them in a car, <laughs> they'll fight you tooth and nail to go never back. go back to a bicycle, way, except in New York City. This is the first first time ever that they're going to do their recovery, their stimulus is all going to be consumption-based versus infrastructure-based. Remember, they built those yeah, empty the cities, cities, the bridges, yeah. the whole thing. It's all going into consumption, and Alibaba is the toll taker. If you're buying something in China, you're probably going through Alibaba or one of the others, but Alibaba's got the biggest share. That thing's going to work, and that cloud business is just getting started with the digitization. So I know it's down and out. I know no one loves it, but I'll be back maybe in 12 months, and we'll talk about it, and we'll say... We'll try to get you back soon. Great stuff, Tom. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, folks, we'll be, we'll be right back.